Good morning. I'm Russ McCaskey with Karen Borda, and we are breaking in with uh, Facebook Live for uh, an update on a situation of a shooting in downtown Dallas outside of the Earl Cabell Federal Building. Now, this call came in just after 8:45 this morning. Reports of shots fired. Again, an active shooter at Earl Cabell Federal Building, and we do understand that the situation is under control right now. They do have that suspect in custody. Yeah, the, the suspect was reported as being down. We do know that shots were fired uh, at, at some point. Uh, there were some questions as to whether or not the person was inside the federal building or outside. It appears that the person was outside of the federal building, was never inside the building. Uh, this is kind of right by McDonald's right there in that area. Uh, so this is a, an area that is now being cordoned off. I think they're setting up a perimeter of at least two blocks, maybe three blocks around that federal building uh, to try to uh, contain the situation and make it as a controlled environment as possible. I think most people, they think, you know, you know where the McDonald's is. It's Commerce, mm -hmm. Commerce and Griffin Street. And several people reported hearing shots fired, multiple shots fired in the area. And again, as you mentioned, nothing inside. The, uh, the federal building, but all outside the federal building. We don't know who the suspect is or what the motive might have been, if it was in any way related to anything going on at the federal building, any of the cases. Um, it, it might be completely unrelated, but as Russ mentioned, they have decided to shut down several roads in that area to try to cordon them off, to try mm -hmm. to, to better investigate the crime scene. Yeah, we have uh, several crews there on scene. This is a, a live picture here from downtown. As you can see, the McDonald's there in the background, several police officers on scene. Uh, this is obviously a very secure building. There's a, a, a lot of uh, government agencies there. The FBI is right there in that area. The Sheriff's Department's right there in that area. So uh, anyway, a lot of heavy police presence. And right now, like I said, there's, it's not a panic situation at all. There were some reports that they might evacuate the federal building, some of those kinds of things. Don't believe that that happened. Uh, we have crews that were just now arriving there on scene, gathering information as to uh, what has happened and what is going to happen here in the, the very short future. But if you're headed downtown in the downtown area, just beware that part of it around the Earl Cabell Federal Building has been blocked off. You're not going to be able to get into those areas uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, perhaps uh, once they uh, do the full investigation, then they'll be able to allow people to get back in to where they, it is that they need to go. And we should mention that Dallas Co County Community College uh, says that El Centro is on lockdown as a result of this, surely just out of an abundance of mm -hmm. caution. But there are, are many young people who are going to college during the summertime, so that's something that they should be aware of, that uh, uh, parents and loved ones, that the El Centro is on lockdown. And again, more than likely, it's just for uh, preventative purposes out of an abundance of caution. But the situation, they say, is under control. They do have a suspect in custody at uh, shots fired, multiple shots fired outside the Earl Cabell Federal Building. And again, that's why you see roads closed in the area and uh, uh, surfeit of, of police officers and, and sheriff's deputies and other federal agents. Yeah, so uh, again, Griffin and Commerce Street, downtown Dallas, uh, right now it is a controlled environment. Police have taken control of that area to uh, try to do as complete of an investigation as possible. We know shots were fired. We do not know what kind of gun was fired and, and if anybody was hit other than uh, perhaps the person who was the suspect who is now in custody, as we're being told. At one point, we we're told he was down. I don't know if that's just that he, he got down because police were telling him to get down or if, in fact, uh, he might have been wounded in the situation. Uh, we have several crews there. Steve Pickett, so forth, uh, is there on scene. You can see we have a live picture from the photographer. The helicopter is also Chopper 11 is uh, is approaching Dallas at this point. It's been covering a lot of storm damage uh, from overnight, so it was over in Tarrant County. It's working its way over. Um, as you can see there, as we take that as it's uh, flying down, I believe it's 30 heading in towards downtown. It looks like that's the Trinity River right there, so it's not too far away from downtown. But again, that's the situation: is that, that there has been a shooting uh, about 45 minutes ago or so uh, that happened in. In downtown near the federal building, perhaps just outside the federal building, and now police are taking control of that situation. That's right. And we, again, we do have multiple crews on the scene. We are working to gather more information. We're going to have much more on this coming up in our later newscasts at 11 a.m. That's our next newscast, and we will break in again here on Facebook Live as the situation warrants. Until then, thank you very much. I'm Karen Borda and Russ McCaskey, CBS 11.